Well, I was born in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. And so I have a little bit of a Dutch accent and a little bit of a New Jersey accent because that's where I did my teenage years. But I've been here since basically um, 65, 66, you know, kind of started coming back and forth at the end of 65, got married in 66, so you can count it from there. <laughs> Well, a great part of the reason I got involved with public service is because I was a, a member of the League of Women Voters and got very interested in voter service. I'm very much interested in voter rights. And what I liked about the League of Women Voters was uh, it was nonpartisan. Well, first of all, serving on a city council as long as I did and that the, that the community was willing to let me run for county commissioner. I did some things when I was on the city council. We had some hearings where we had problems downtown. Um, I also had, um, was involved with the human rights ordinance that they had. That was the most thrilling thing that I ever had. I will always talk about it and think of it because all nine of us voted in favor of the include, being an inclusive uh, organization. So that was one of them. The other one that I've been very happy to be involved with was the CASA program, Court Appointed Special Advocates. And for a long time, we were one of the only ones around that had a CASA program except for Indianapolis. So children, education and children have been very much in my life. Well, I was very much involved with the PCB program. And we finally got, got the incinerator closed down, not having an incinerator, which was fantastic. The other thing that I'm very pleased about is this building. It's very unique. The courthouse needed rehabilitation. So we closed the courthouse, bought the showers building and moved down there. And since then, we've also redone some other things in here. But I'm, this is such a jewel. The courthouse is just such a jewel. And I'm very pleased to have been part of that endeavor. But I think today we need to continue looking at having a viable community, economically viable, but a very accepting community, having lots of cultural activities going on. Um, we need to keep encouraging that and working with IU and the city Together, I think we can have a lot of, uh, have really a great community. Well, probably the two people mostly that have had, had influenced me at the very beginning were Tommy Allison and Pat Williams, those definitely were. But my husband, he, he was very supportive of my doing this, even though we were raising two kids. And they're, they're successful <laughs> in what they do. As somebody said on the radio the other day, sometimes we need to take a little risk and you might find things that you, talents you have that you don't know have. And trying to help, helping people is a big thing and working with people. And that's really what makes this community uh, valuable and wonderful. And I think Morgan also talked about that, is that people make a difference.